Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Aaron. Earlier, we were looking at the Klipsch T5 Series 2 Sports, and those were some great earbuds, yes, but today, we're gonna look at the non-sports version of the T5 Series 2. Now, this doesn't have the sports version's watertight case, wireless charging, and stability fins and sleeves for better stability when working out, but it is still an improved version, a rather much improved version of the original Klipsch T5 while retaining some of the elements that we liked about the originals, like the Zippo-like charging case, which I still find to be one of the sleekest looking, nicest looking charging cases in the market. And it's got the same decent battery life too, of up to 8 hours in the earbuds and an extra 16 hours in the charging case, 24 hours in total. But what exactly are the improvements here then? Well, for one, the earbuds have been improved. They are now smaller and they've been reworked to fit better in your ears with more stability. Other improvements include IP67 water and dust resistance instead of IPX4, a transparency mode that when you activate it, gets the earbuds to pass through ambient sound to you so that you can get better awareness of your surroundings on demand. And number three, better phone call quality compared to the previous model. And just like the previous model, this also has Klipsch Connect app support, so you can expect over-the-air software updates as well as the ability to customize these earbuds in various ways, including customizing its sound quality using a graphic equalizer. But based on my experience with the Klipsch T5 Series 2 Sports, I can say with a fair amount of certainty that these earbuds are going to work a lot better, a lot more seamlessly with the Klipsch Connect app than the originals. Uh, if you want to find out more about what I mean, watch this video over here. So now I'm going to crack into the box and let's see how they perform in terms of sound quality, phone call quality, and whether there's going to be any Bluetooth audio lag when gaming or watching videos. Okay, we've got some literature, some extra silicone ear tips of various sizes, a USB Type-C cable with a Type-A converter. The case looks very similar to that of the previous model, but with a few differences. It is both a little broader and a little flatter than the previous model's case, so if you put this in your pocket, it shouldn't jut out as much as the case of the previous Klipsch T5. Okay, fit and stability test. Okay, it does offer a pretty good noise isolating seal and I like the fact that it sits quite flush into my ears compared to the previous model which, by the way, juts out a lot. Okay, let's give this a go. Okay, I think they can remain quite stable for a while when you've just started working out, but some readjustments might be needed along the way. If you need something that's better for high intensity workouts and sports under various weather conditions, then you might be looking at something like the Klipsch T5 Series 2 Sports, which has stability fins and silicone sleeves that's going to make these earbuds stay better in your ears compared to the T5 Series 2. Okay, now we're going to try its controls. Play. Okay, good. Pause. Play. Skip forwards. Okay, good. Raise volume. Alright. Lower volume. Okay. Pause. Voice assistant. Yep, so the controls work. Sound quality test. Okay. So, 
These have got a very smooth and non-fatiguing sound signature with a very nice clarity in the mid-range. So if you like to listen to vocals music, your vocals in such music will sound like it's got a little more detail and a bit more texture. And I also like how that clarity seems to extend into the upper frequency range. So if you like to listen to chamber music, orchestral music, classical music, then there's going to be a bit more sizzle and a bit more airiness to such music, especially when listening to music with lots of string instruments or wind instruments. Now, in terms of bass, as somebody who's quite used to listening to earbuds with quite a bit more bass extension and body in the mid-range, it can sound quite thin and lifeless out of the box. So I've had to go into the Klipsch Connect tab to make some modifications and after that, it sounded way better, way better than when it first came out of the box. A lot more body in the mid-range and quite a bit more bass extension. But if you're a bass head, then the Jabra Elite Active 75Ts might be a better choice because out of the box, it's already nailed the bass extension, the bass impact, and the gravitas in the mid-range. Plus, it's got this feature called My Sound, which personalizes the Jabra's sound signature to suit the sensitivity of your ears. So the result of that is gonna be a flatter sound profile that's gonna display a bit more detail because frequencies that you weren't able to hear before are now amplified so that you can hear these frequencies. But what the Klipsch T5 Series 2s excel over the Jabra's is its sound staging. It sounds a little more open. Okay, phone call quality test. As usual, I'm gonna play some really loud cafe style background noise to simulate making a phone call in a noisy cafe environment and I'm gonna record a voice memo on my phone using these earbuds. Let's see how they compare to the Elite Active 75Ts in terms of phone call quality. Background noise, Clips G5 Series 2, record. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Clips G5 Series 2. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Jabra Elite Active 75T. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I think they both are quite comparable in terms of phone call quality in a noisy place, but the clip seems to do a little better in terms of background noise suppression, and my voice through the clip seems to be a little less bloated. So it seems to sound a little more intelligible than on the Jabra's, but what do you guys think? Which of these earbuds sounded better to you through the recordings? Let me know in the comments. Okay, now we're gonna see which of these earbuds have lower Bluetooth audio lag when gaming or watching videos. Now, I'm gonna test for lag both on an Apple device and an Android device. As usual, the Apple device that I'm gonna use is the iPhone SE. For Android, I'm gonna use the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. First, we're gonna test for gaming audio lag. To give you a sense of what no lag looks like on an iPhone SE, this is audio straight from the iPhone speaker, so no lag. Now, the Klipsch T5 Series 2, then the Elite Active 75T. And then we repeat the same test on the Note 10 Plus.
So the Clips T5 Series 2s have quite a bit of lag when gaming on both Apple and Android devices. The Jabras were a little better, yes, but to be honest, they weren't that much better. So if you want to game on your phone with either of these earbuds, I do not recommend doing so. But if all you want to do on your phone is watch videos on apps like YouTube, Netflix or Hulu, then you're not likely to get much or any lag at all because these video apps tend to correct for such audio to video delays by delaying the video so that it syncs up better with the audio, like this. Hey guys, what's up? This is Aaron. When I was comparing the XM4 to all of these other headphones, some of you brought up a very interesting point in my comments. You see, when I was testing these headphones phone call quality, I'm always trying to, you know, push them to their limits, you know, by creating as much noise as possible in the studio. But that may not be so relevant now because... Hey guys, what's up? This is Aaron. When I was comparing the XM4 to all of these other headphones, some of you brought up a very interesting point in my comments. You see, when I was testing these headphones phone call quality, I'm always trying to, you know, push them to their limits, you know, by creating as much noise as possible in the studio. But that may not be so relevant now because most of us are kind of working from home at the moment. So today... So here are my overall thoughts about the Clips T5 Series 2. I think this is a big improvement over the original Clips T5. Clips has basically taken all of these consumer feedback about the T5 and simply made a much better product in the year 2020. You've got earbuds that have been reworked for better fit, comfort and stability. The buttons don't feel like uh, you're pushing the earbuds into your ear canal every time you try to press it anymore, which is a very good thing. Transparency mode has been added, which is a feature that at this price point is sort of expected. You know, you've got to have it. No transparency mode at $200. Don't even bother, right? The case is also flatter and doesn't protrude from your pocket that much. And it's got much better phone call quality than the original T5. In fact, I think it's phone call quality might be one of the best in the market at the moment. This is something that we have to confirm later on, but it certainly is quite impressive how its phone call quality is equals to or even a little better than the Jabra Elite Active 75Ts. It's also got better water resistance and finally, the T5 Series 2 simply works a lot better with the Clips Connect tab than the original T5. It simply is a much more fuss-free experience, that's for sure. But when you compare the T5 Series 2s with the current crop of earbuds in the market, it seems like it is still playing catch up in certain areas such as features. I mean, features like multi-point pairing or wireless charging would have made the T5 Series 2s a bit more appealing to the mass market at this price point. Now, I know that in such a product, it may not be very possible to implement a feature like wireless charging because its case is fully made of metal. It looks nice, it looks great, but it certainly is going to make it a little more difficult to implement wireless charging. Uh, but perhaps they could have like machined a hole at the bottom of the case, put in a wireless charging module and simply covered it over with a piece of glass, making this uh, making it possible for this to have wireless charging. Maybe these are features that we're gonna have to see in the next version of the Clips T5. But overall, I like this product. $199 Clips T5 Series 2, definitely worth a look if you're in the market for a nice pair of truly wireless earbuds. Now, if you want me to compare the Clips T5 Series 2 or the T5 Series 2 Sports with other earbuds like the Apple AirPods Pro, the Sony WF-1000XM3, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please show that you like this video by punching that like button with a vengeance 2020 style, 
and sharing this video with your friends and family. Also, if you want to see more content like this one from this channel, more reviews, comparisons, and tutorials, please subscribe and ring the notifications bell because this is the only way YouTube will notify you of new videos from this channel that I put up every single week. So if you don't want to miss out, you know what to do. Thanks again for watching. Arrivederci.